I should stay here and find a new home for the prairie dogs. Looks like the perfect new home for the prairie dogs. I'd better empty out the vacuum here. Here you go, little guys. Good luck in your new home. It kind of looks like the money box I found at the farmhouse. Hey there. I'm all done with the prairie dog vacuum. Here you go. All right, then. Anything else on your mind? I'll let you go. See you around. Hello, Nancy. Pa tells me that you've been asking him about Brooke. Is that true? Been huh? No, that's not true. Oh, maybe Pa's mistaken. Exactly. I'm not the type to go after the personal lives of fellow scientists. Right, but Pa did seem pretty certain. You know, maybe you should spend less time talking to Pa and more time doing your job here, Nancy. Rich uncle or no, you have work to do. So do it. Why don't you get a cat for your mice problem? Cats? Forget about it. I'm deathly allergic to cats. Mice are annoying, but at least they don't leave me sneezing and short of breath. Guess I'll get going. Ta-ta. Let's move! This storm is about to go critical! We need to get out in the field now! You're riding point with Frosty. Scott and I will be tracking the storm. Let's go! We're gonna get a twister! Turn back! Turn back! Wrong way! Wrong way! Oh, check that out! No. No, 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 shoot! Video camera just died here! Fix it! I've got to keep shooting stills.
Scott's gonna flip when he sees this footage. I fixed it. Here you go, Frosty. Just in time, thanks. Uh-oh, we got some trouble. The funnel is headed right for that building. Look at that! Knocked that barn flat! I hope it was as abandoned as it looked. It's roping out! It didn't record a thing. I thought you said you fixed it. I did fix it. Let's head back to the homestead. So, still think tornadoes are cool? You bet I do. I think what they are is cool, but after today, I'm sure not a fan of what they do. That's something that researchers, myself included, all too often forget. As exciting as it is to chase tornadoes, they are hugely destructive, and the damage they do to lives and livelihoods is all too often horrible and irreparable. <sighs> what a disheartening day. An EF3 and we failed to get so much as one inch of footage on it, thanks to you. What do you mean, thanks to me? Frosty says you failed to fix his video camera in time to record anything. But, but that's not true. I fixed it in plenty of time. Look, I don't want to hear excuses. Just go. Call it a day and make sure it doesn't happen again, okay? Okay. What's up? That's it for now. Have fun. It's late, Nancy. Why don't you call it quits for the day?
I'm gonna hit the sack, Nancy. You should do the same. I repeat. Call it a day. Now. Hi, Debbie. How's it going? Morning, Nancy. Looks like it's shaping up to be another big day for all of us. First things first, we've got huge communications problems right now. I had Chase fix up the GPS units and add the comm antenna location. I need you to take a trip over to see what the problem is. After that, I know Chase asked if you could drop by and talk to him, okay? What do you want to do now that you've finished your degree? Actually, I... I'm not sure yet. I, I'm still kind of weighing my options. I'll check back with you in a bit. Have fun! Nancy, now this is what you call perfect timing. I was just getting ready to put the transmission of this car back together. But seeing as you're here and seeing as Debbie said I should feel free to give any job I don't have time for to you, that's just what I think I'll do. Sounds like fun. All you gotta do is put the gears I just cleaned back on three horizontal rods. There's a notch for each gear, so just figure out which size gear goes to which notch. Of course, you gotta make sure when the gears line up vertically, they touch but don't overlap each other. It's not hard, just takes a little time and a little bit of trial and error. No problem. Yes! I did it! I got all the gears back on the rods. Fine job, Nancy. Now come on over here. Something else I need you to do. I need for you to run this here estimate over to Scott. It's for the body work that needs to be done on Pete's car. Scott's supposed to look it over and sign it before I give the repair shop the go-ahead. Well, I'll take it to him. Appreciate it. Anything else on your mind? That's it for now. Bye now. <laughs> 